The Animal Foundation spokesperson told me Walter's mom, Kat Brensinger, didn't pick him up. Kat told me a different story. Now she just wants her dog back. He's everything to me. Kat Brensinger loves Walter. She loves him this much. <laughs> my whole back of my legs tattooed with a portrait of him. She got the Bull Terrier when he was a puppy. His name is Walter, but I call him Chicken. Her tattoo is the closest she's been to him in almost a month. None of it makes sense. I feel like I'm in a nightmare. On January 20th, Kat told me she was getting ready to go to work. He was doing his zoomies, like Bull Terriers do. When I say I gotta go to work, he usually just goes in his kennel. Well, he wasn't having it that night, and so coerced him towards the kennel, and when I grabbed his butt and pushed him in there, he turned around and bit me in the thumb. She said he's never oh, bit anyone before. Sit. I've never even Ooh. seen him growl, ever. Her roommate called police. When animal control officers showed up, they said that they had to take him. The next day, animal control told her Walter had to be put down. And he made me sign euthanasia papers. And I had completely lost it, so I thought he was dead. When she called to get his ashes, she found out animal control gave him to the Animal Foundation for a 10-day quarantine. And so I was ecstatic. Cat went to visit. She brought him his favorite snack. He's kind of a snob. He doesn't like, he doesn't like Gala or Fiji. He likes the Honeycrisp. She went back to see him a few more times. Kat told me a text said Walter would be ready to go home anytime after 10 on Saturday, February 1st. Well, I said I'll be here. She called on the 1st. That was at like noon, and then I called again at 4, never answered. A spokesperson told me they never heard from Kat until she got there just before 5. I'm here to pick up Walter. And she said, we don't have a Walter here. I asked the Animal Foundation what happened. They sent me a statement saying we had no way of knowing if or when she intended to reclaim. I wouldn't go visit a dog and bring treats and I wouldn't do that for a dog that I didn't want to bring home with me. The spokesperson told me they told Kat to pick up Walter on the 31st, not the 1st. When Kat showed up on the 1st, he was adopted hours before she got there. Please, there's so many other dogs out there that need a good home. Please give me my baby back. He's all I got. <laughs> I asked the communications manager at the Animal Foundation for an exact time Walter was put up for adoption and when he was adopted. She never got back to me. Kat told me she hopes whoever adopted Walter sees this story. She wants them to know she will pay for adoption fees for a new dog. She just wants Walter back. In the studio, I'm Kylie Gaylor, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.